Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be what's in my makeup bag that I brought to Disney, which ended up to be way more than I actually needed. This is the look that I wore pretty much the whole time, and as we'll get into that a little bit later on in the video. I'll take you through how I got this look if you're interested. But yeah, I brought way more than I would have needed, but I just wanted to share with y'all in case anybody is going about to go on vacation, a uh, Disney vacation, beach vacation, whatever it is, I like to see what people bring on their vacation. Um, and this is what I ended up bringing, and like I said, I didn't use but half of it. I'll, I'll show you what I brought, and then I'll show you what I used, and then we'll get into how I came about this look. This is my Vera Bradley Large Cosmetic Bag. Been having this for probably about five years now. I think this pattern is retired. I'm not sure. I'll find it for you and link it down below. I also, um, this is just a like a pencil case, Vera Bradley pencil case. I keep my um, brushes in this as well as like. I brought along a little, oops, a little Q-tip thing and a mini tweezer. So I'll show you, go ahead and show you the brushes I got and then I'll put that in there and um, we'll go through the makeup. So I did bring my Morphe M439. I used this to set my under eye concealer with powder. So I brought that. I apologize about all the congestion that's going on. I actually feel much better today. I ended up getting sick in Disney like on the Wednesday that we were there um, but it was really just a sore throat and cough and I lost my voice for like the rest of the trip but I felt fine um, when, but when we got back it kind of turned into a full, full on common cold kind of thing so today I actually feel a little bit better um, still a lot of pressure and you know just sound really crazy but um, bear with me um, I apologize about that, so, but let's move on. <laughs> the next brush I bought brought was my Cosmetics. This is the um, eyeliner. It can also be a brow brush, I believe. Yeah, angled liner and brow, the number 217. So I brought that in there. This is another it Cosmetics, a dual ended. Uh, doesn't really have a name, um, but I'll find it and link it down below. It has like a fluffier side that you can use um, to put powder there put eyeshadow on the lid and you can also blend it out with this brush and this is like a little smudger brush on the end very useful I brought my Morphe M224 I use this to put concealer underneath my eye uh, also brought my Morphe M169 this is more this is like a pencil brush um, you can use it for many things to get that out, outer V um, but I use it a lot to smudge out my lower lash line Another Morphe brush. I love Morphe brushes. Now I've discovered them and I love them. And they're very reasonably priced. This is the Morphe M501 and I use this for um, highlighting. This is another It Cosmetics brush. This is my all-time favorite blending brush. It is number 105. And another It Cosmetics, I'm not sure, I think this is the Heavenly Lux dual ended something or another, um, but it has a fluffier side over here, <clears throat> excuse me, and just kind of like a blending brush side over here, but I actually use this to bronze with, scrape bronzing, bronzing blush, brush, can't talk. I also brought a little spoolie just to comb out my lashes as well as my lash curler. So all that went in there, and I set that right in the middle of my makeup bag, set in there, and then just around it, I put everything else. For foundation, um, I brought my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in color 118 ROI325. This foundation I love because it can you can sheer it out or you, it can be full coverage, and I'll show you exactly how I use it to get in this pretty sheer coverage right here but um yeah one of my favorite foundations right now so I brought this one it doesn't have F SPF in it so make sure if especially if you're going to be outside in the sun all day make sure you prepare your skin with SPF um, I use my Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense and SPF 30 love this moisturizer probably get into that um in another video that I'm planning for a skincare routine. I also brought my NARS 
Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Throw that in there. I brought my MAC um, Pro Longwear Concealer that I actually did not end up using. I brought my Pixi Correction Concealer. This is really all I used as far as like under eye concealing. This is what I used. I brought, um, let's see what else. I brought my Too Faced um, Matte Bronzer, this Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep. This is just a little sample that I have. I brought two powders. I brought my Bye Bye Pores from It Cosmetics Press Powder. This is my favorite press powder and just all time right now. Um, it's great for just um, smoothing out those pores making them look a little bit more invisible, not really completely getting rid of them, but just just looking more flawless. Um, but yeah, I kept this in my purse, but I brought it, and I also brought my MAC Skin Finish, Mineralized Skin Finish, and I'm in the color Medium. This kind of this sets your foundation as well as adds a little bit more of a coverage, and it also kind of brings out a little glow. So I've really been liking that, so I brought those. Um, also brought for blush, my It Cosmetics CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blush in Je Ne Sais Quoi. Just a pretty, it can be pink, it can be peach. Um, I've used it as a, this end as a highlighter. Um, but for this look, I just kind of moved with my Beauty Blender sponge, just kind of went all over with it. I haven't mentioned these yet, but for my main tools, I brought all my Beauty Blenders. I brought um, my big one, um, my blush one as well as my little mini green one that um, I didn't really use much. I, I did use it with the peach concealer, but I ended up just using my fingers, which you'll see in the video in a minute. I did bring my Laura Mercier. Um, this is Secret Brightening Powder to set my under eye concealer, which I did not end up using. I brought my Becca highlighter. This is the Jaclyn Hill highlighter in uh, Champagne Pop. Very pretty highlighter. Um, I think it's very versatile. It's a more of a goldeny glow. Uh, very good. Can be very good for the summertime. Um, but this is mainly what I use, especially on like my eyelids. It's just a very pretty glow. Very pretty. Um, so yeah, I brought that. It's been a favorite for a little while. Um, I also brought um, my fresh lip balm. Um, I brought two lip glosses. I brought my NARS. This is the limited edition lip gloss in Get Dirty. Um, beautiful color. Beautiful everyday. Could go with any anything type of color. Kind of a mauve nude. Very pretty. I did wear it a couple times. I did. Um, but most of the time I, I wore my Bite Beauty. This is the lip gloss in Rambutan. Just a very pretty pink peachy nude. That's it right there. Perfect. That's what I'm wearing today. And I kept this in my purse as well. And that's pretty much all I used. <laughs> um, I also brought my brow products, my Anastasia brow definer pencil, as well as the clear brow gel. I also brought for mascara, tried and true, best waterproof mascaras for me, in my opinion. Um, I used my It Cosmetics Tight Line waterproof mascara and then topped it off with the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes mascara, the waterproof version of Lights Camera Lashes. I actually prefer this mascara over the Lights Camera Lashes. I find that one can get really chunky and clunky. Um, but this one is a very nice formula and these two together, they're not. it's not going anywhere. Shove that in there. I did bring along my It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette just in case. I didn't know if I was going to use it, but I figured this would be the best palette to bring. I was going to bring my Urban Decay Naked Basic 2 palette, but I decided against it just because I wanted maybe some more some color. Just in case I wanted color, I decided to bring this one. So, But I didn't, I didn't use it at all. And then I'm throwing my beauty blenders. Uh, just kind of kept them out and on top because they stayed wet most of the time. And I also brought my MAC Fix Plus and just set that on top. And there we go. That's all that I brought. I brought all of this and I did not use hardly any of it. But this is the perfect bag for your your makeup product. It can fit. I mean, it's pretty. it is pretty stuffed. 
Um, I'll probably fit a few more things in it, but I use this on any trips I go on or anywhere I'm going. This is the, the bag that I use. So yeah, I could have like packed way lighter as far as makeup goes, but I'm an overpacker and um, I just didn't know what I was going to be doing, but this is what I ended up doing. So if you want to see what I used out of all of this <laughs> um, to get this makeup look that I, I this is this is what I did the whole time we were there. So if you want to see this look and the products that I used, then just keep watching. I did already prep my skin with my daily moisturizer. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, and it has SPF 30 in it. It also has a little bit of a color to it. Um, if you can see it, yeah, just just a little bit. It doesn't really. Um, it doesn't really make a difference as far as like coverage or anything, um, but I do like it. It's this one is for normal oily to combination skin, and it says it visibly reduces wrinkles and dark spots. Sheer natural tint, ideal for all skin tones. Silky lotion mattifies and smooth. It does do all those things. I find um, it's great as a um, a makeup primer as well. So I have not been using a makeup primer um, as a lately at all with, with this. So I've really been enjoying this and it's a very good moisturizer, especially if you're going to be out in the sun all day. I have my three beauty blenders here, my little green one, um, my big one, and then the blush one. And the first thing that I did was I brought my Pixie. This is the Brightening Peach Correcting Concealer. And I actually like to, sorry about all the sniffles y'all, um, I actually like to take this with my finger just because it warms up the product and just tap it and get it in there just on those that dark kind of bluish purple spot right there. just kind of helps it melt into the skin a little easier with my fingertips heating up the product. I find that it kind of um, doesn't really spread evenly when I just use my beauty blender. Um, but I brought it just in case. I did kind of take it and just blend it out a little bit more but you see it already kind of brightened that area up. So that's really all I did. And then I took my Makeup Forever HD foundation. This foundation can go on very lightly to full, very full coverage. That's why I love this foundation. And I actually just used one pump. Usually if I want like a full face, I'll do two pumps. I have a hair somewhere. <laughs> um, and I just took it with my finger and put it in the spots that I mostly want it, it at, which is usually like the center of my face. And on my forehead right there in the center. And I actually even put it, spread it a little bit under my eye area, around my nose. Like I said, just kind of wherever I'm red at. And I just took the rest, put it on my beauty blender, and just blended it all in. And then whatever was left on the sponge from getting it in the middle, I just kind of took it out towards my face around the outside. <laughs> so you see, it's very, very sheer, but it still has good coverage. It feels light on the skin. I didn't feel like I had tons of makeup on. Take this on my eyes as well. I also, um, prepped my eyes with my NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base. Then I took my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I actually kept this in my purse the whole time, but I never really touched up. I mean, when you're at Disney, you don't really stop and be like, wait, let me touch up. I mean, I didn't anyway. It's just, it's just you just don't, I guess. I don't know. Most of everybody there does not have makeup on, so. So anyway, I just took this and I actually went under my eyes and around my nose with it just to set everything. Mostly in the middle of my face where I am most oily at. Then I took my MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium. And I just took the butt of my Beauty Blender and just kind of twisted it around in there and 
did the rest of my face, set the rest of my face with it. It actually added a little bit more coverage, but nothing didn't make, you know, didn't make it like cakey or anything. And it also added a little bit of like a sheen or shine, not shine, but I guess just like a light kind of um, glow. That's what I want to say. Glow. And I took a little bit and just to blend everything in, took it down my neck. I did want to give myself a little bit of color, so I had my This Is D Chocolate, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer in medium deep. It's a matte bronzer. And this is just a little sample. I have not yet to buy a full size of this because I just keep getting samples. They just keep getting them to me when I go to Sephora or Ulta, which is awesome. Um, but this is a brand new one. Um, I still have a little bit left on the last one that I had. But just kind of took this and just warmed up just the outer parts of my face. No perfect contouring or anything. Just, just really just kind of bronzing. I did have my Anastasia Brow Definer. This is very easy and quick to apply. I wasn't, I wasn't like specific with it. You know, I didn't like take care and like really do like a really defined brow. And that's really it. I'm going to do the other one real quick. And because it was just a two second step, I went ahead and I used my brow gel, Anastasia brow gel, to tame those brows and set them in place. For blush, I brought my IT Cosmetics. This is the um, CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blush in Je ne sais quoi. So it just starts off with a pretty pink and then kind of blends, it kind of becomes like a peachy pink, and then it goes into this lighter, which I've also used in the past as a highlighter. Um, but for this, I actually just kind of took my beauty blender and went all over with it. There is my phone. And um, just, I started in the back because I didn't want like clown cheeks and just kind of worked my way to the apples of my cheeks. And I found using the Beauty Blender to do all this just really made it more subtle and um, lightweight, I guess. I actually forgot a quick little step that I did. Um, while I was bronzing, I also took it, just kind of bronzed my eyes like that. Just gave, it, gave them just a little kind of color right there. And the next step I did was I brought my Becca highlighter, and this is the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop highlighter. Um, but I gave myself just a light kind of glow. Put the remaining down my nose. Cupid's bow. And I also took it and put it on my eyelids. For mascara, I brought my tried and true waterproof mascaras. Love my tight, my It Cosmetics Tight Line Waterproof Mascara. I started off with this as my base primer coat. I used it on my top and my bottom. And then just to give my lashes a bit more of a flourish, I used the Tarte. This is the um, Lights Camera Splashes. This is the waterproof version of the Lights Camera Lashes, which I actually prefer this formula. I did give my lashes a curl because they like to stick straight out.
Both of these mascaras are not going anywhere. They don't smudge. Perfect for out in the hot weather, weather all day. If you're going to be swimming, we went on um, the Rabbit River, Rabbit River ride in Animal Kingdom, like one of our favorite rides. And I get soaked every single time. No matter where I sit, I always end up being the person that is going to get drenched. <laughs> um, but that's okay. That is the fun of it. I was prepared this year. I wore like a swimsuit top with a, I wore another top, like a silk kind of material top that I knew dry, was going to dry really quickly. I brought a hat to wear, but Michael did not bring his hat, so he had to wear my hat. Um, but that would have been perfect, but it ended up to be okay. I just had my hair in a ponytail. It was fine. No biggie. We're just on vacation. I'm not there to impress anybody. But my point is, it, is, it didn't go anywhere. It's going to stay right where you put it. And for lips, I did use a um, SPF a lip balm using my favorite Bite Beauty lip balm, lip gloss in Rambutan. And I kept this in my lip balm with me and my powder just in case I wanted to touch up throughout, which I really didn't. The only thing I ended up doing was just touching up with my lip balm throughout the day. Um, I did set it with my MAC Fix Plus. But that's it. This is pretty much my Disney look that I did for the week. Like I said in the beginning, I brought way more than I needed. I didn't need over half of what I brought, but I'm an overpacker and, you know, I just didn't know what I was going to use, what I was going to have time to do. But really, and I should know this, when you, when you get to the parks or when you get to your destination at Disney or wherever you're going, especially if you're going to be at Disney, you really don't have any time to to primp and prep. I mean, it's great if you want to. Um, I was certainly prepared to do it, but um, I ended up not doing it. And this 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 was my everyday routine. It took me like maybe ten minutes to to get this all done. Maybe a little bit more than ten minutes. I don't know. It didn't seem like it took a long time, which um, which I preferred on the trip. So yeah. Um, but yeah, this ended, this ended up working out perfect. Um, it was, this has kind of been, and I've actually been wearing it a lot since we've gotten back. It's like my make, no makeup makeup look, I suppose. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you today. Just, um, what was in my makeup bag and of course the look that I wore throughout my trip. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on all my social medias. I'll have everything down below. Um, and yeah, that's it. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye y'all.